maximum. Help. Engaged. Greetings everyone. In this full length episode, I will be showing you how to earn some easy XP, simply by throwing a few grenades. What class you use does not really matter, so long as the character has grenades. Enemy forces incoming. The strategy is simple, throw grenades at enemy spawn points at the start of each wave. See? I just got 3 kills without even firing my gun. You can easily get more than 3 kills, as you will see later on. Enemy spawn points can be quite predictable, but if a team mate ventures there just before a wave starts, then enemies will spawn elsewhere. That's all of them. Good work. Enemy is still active. Stay alert. So if a team is spread out all over the map, then enemy spawn points will tend to be more random. Enemy force approaching. Understood. Three kills again, and a fourth with a saber. Make sure to run from ammo box to ammo box, to constantly resupply your grenades. You only get two grenades from each box, and sometimes not at all, if you have a teammate who is also resupplying grenades. If you don't get any, simply run to another ammo box. Depending on the map, you can resupply three grenades from one box, but the game can be very inconsistent. I am using a Drell Vanguard, equipped with an M99 Sabre Assault Rifle. It is a heavy weapon, which will affect how often I can use powers. But this video isn't really about using powers, but throwing grenades. This character is currently level 19, but the grenade category is fully maxed out. Try to go for a greater blast radius, while upgrading the grenade power. Reapers are the toughest enemies, in my opinion, because they are extremely difficult to defeat if you are playing solo. Yes, I do occasionally play solo, to see how tough a character really is. The toughest character is easily the Krogan Vanguard, as you may have seen in my previous video. Enemy force approaching.
I'm not sure what happened there, since I should have gotten some barrier energy back, after the biotic charge. Because if I had some barrier energy, I would not have died. I like the background music. Now! Wave 7, meaning it's time to face a banshee.
These blue pod creatures are called Ravagers, and they should be made a priority, because they can wipe you out within seconds. Give me a grenade, you stingy little fracker. Enemies inbound. Hostiles! As you may have noticed, I am playing on the PlayStation 3 console. Although the graphics are better on the PC, and you get to play at a higher resolution, I am playing on the PS3 because some friends asked me to. So since I was used to the PS3 control scheme, I thought I might as well make a few videos. The control scheme I use on the PC is much more complicated, because I use a controller and mouse combo. So if I go back to the PC right now, I will probably end up pressing the wrong buttons and wasting things like medi gels or op survival packs. The graphics are about the same anyway, so it's not really that big a deal. Stupid Ravager got me, but no time to rest, there is money to be made. Wave 10 is where you get the most money, normally about 9000 credits, so try to play your best in that round, use whatever resources need to be used. Matty gels, missile launchers, use whatever you have to, to complete the mission in as quick a time as possible. I was pressing X, but I couldn't seem to revive her. Extraction time, and if you know what you are doing, you can earn a lot of XP here, but just make sure you are in the extraction area, when the shuttle arrives. Get to the extraction area!
So that's it, another mission completed. Fifty nine thousand XP, and more than seventy five kills. Join me next time, where the Krogan Vanguard gets an even higher score, without grenades. That's all for now, thanks for watching and it's goodbye from me.